and give it a few seconds. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Middens, um, episode 24 I believe. Yeah, sorry, my, my recording setup seems to be acting a bit strange. When I recorded some some tiki the other day, something weird happened. Now, if you remember, we left uh, Nomad in this, uh, this cheery looking place. Look at this, look at this mouthy fuck here. Let's find him, why not, why not? Uh, all of our team is up, which makes a, a pleasant surprise. Uh, Rift Shrimp. Um, now what did I do that for? No, use, uh, just do that. Ideally we don't want to use up too much of our EP, our nerve. We want to just sweep this dude out, get his ass kicked, and then get on with life. No man can get on with his happy business. Yeah, you, you can eat that. I don't mind you eating that. So, um, I've done a little bit of off... Something a bit unusual. I did a bit of off-camera stuff on middens. Uh, just trying to get a feel for where the best next place to go is. Because I, I worry that... And I mentioned this recently that I... I'm going to kind of stumble over stuff and then forget that I've stumbled over it and then stumble over it again and go, wow, let's look at this, this is new. Um, I'm just noticing there's a path, there's like a staircase up there. Not that I can see any way to get up there, but... Whatever. But I do know where to go. Ish. And it's not that way. Um, let's go down past these, uh... Violent Stampers. Straight out of the carnival area in, uh... Yumutuki. And then let's go up here. What's this got to say? Anything? Should we kill it? Oh look at that, it says no guns. You're not the boss of me, I do what I want. It's got another save point. This is the big area with the massive fucking castle and caterpillar tra tra tracks. Um, we're not too fussed about that, because we want to go this way. Past these uh, smoking jacket potatoes. What's this? What's this? No. No, we don't want that. This one looks quite funny. It's kind of... It's got a kind of a look on it. Um, there's a dancing friend there. What's he doing? He's just dancing. There's next to a particularly small potato. I don't know why. What's up with these tentacles, eh? What's this thing up here? Let's, um, one thing at a time. One fucking thing at a time. How many fucking tentacles do you think I have? None is a great dancer. No tentacle rape for you. Not today, anyway. Perhaps if you volunteer me for some crazy medical science slash working in a uh, aquarium or a sea life center, then your dreams can come true. And mine. I've always wanted to work in a sea life center. 86 damage. Yeah, nice one, Nomad. Nice one, Nomad. Um, what am I doing? Just, just hit him. Just, just fucking just hit him. Don't fuck around. Don't talk back. Just fucking kick his fucking stupid clappy headed face in. Teenage Diary. And yeah, I'm leveled up. Good job, yeah. So that's done that. But let's let's just quickly go over here. Um, look at these things. All right, let's go on with this. Well, we only really have one means of interacting with the the greater world around us, and it is to. Oh shit, I always do that. To strum our little box. I do like Nomad's little song. His little synth rift, I guess is what it is. Um, get your gun out. Get your gun out. Rise to the occasion, my friend Nomad. Um. Uh, talk to the robot. There we go. Having a moment there. I was like, where the fuck did I put my gun? What's this thing? Around the city are a valley of termite mounds as tall as some of the world's largest buildings. Oh, yeah. I don't care for your fucking advice, mate. It's creepy, pelly, and I don't care for it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want you around anymore. You are being. Sent back to the abyss whence forth you came. Whence you came forth. Whence you forth came. 
Nice shot, Nomad. I'll take back what I said. That was a good shot. Nun's panties. I've always wanted nun's panties. <laughs> nun's panties. So this takes us here. Now, this is um, kind of interesting. Yeah, we want that. Incendia larvae. Some robot hands. Yeah, grab that. I think that's a brand new one. I don't think we had that one before. And this takes us out past these uh, creatures. I don't think we can interact with them. They're, they're just part of the scenery. Onto this little path, which I like to think of as uh, Monkey Walk. Now this fucker here, this shitlord is is not a pussy, that's for sure. He is gonna make sure that our this Javava Oh god. That wasn't nearly as bad as it was last time, but he ballooned me before. And um while well, that might sound like some kind of funky sex move, there was nothing sexy about it. No. Ah, he's dead. He's dead. he's in a balloon. Pure worm skin's good. What was the fan of that? I don't think he's dead. I think you can just shoot him. You can just shoot them, nomad. I think that's what you can do. You can just shoot them. You can just right. Okay. Okay. Good. These guys are having a little party in here. We can't take part in their little party, but we can if we were so inclined. We could shoot them. I feel bad. Shooting that guy. He's my best friend. We can shoot this thing as well. If we get the shot right. Come on. Nomad, come on, just just get a fucking red dot sight on this thing already, will ya? Just slip it between the lips. Come on. For fuck's sake. Oh the thing that that it didn't happen. Oh. Must be some random effect. For some reason it turned into a save point when I killed it last time. I feel like I'm being judged by the monkeys for killing those two. Uh, but it, that's, that's fine. Now who remembers this area? This is like the second area we actually got to in the whole game. Uh, well, sort of. It isn't It isn't quite the second area that we got to in the, the game. And I'm going to explore it a little bit just to, to double check because I came through here and I had to just check that, that that my intuition was correct. But yeah, there's the various enemies that we fought when we were here before. And some other stuff. Otherwise it's kind of not hugely interesting. We're just going to blitz through it for a bit because I want to see if anything else is different. It, I think it's just styled similar with similar music. It's also these cars. I like the cars. Can we shoot them? I like the big car. I like to think it's a mummy car and two, two baby cars. We can't get in there. Although I haven't actually tried using the old uh, the acoustics. Oh shit. It did work. Fuck. Well, I didn't expect that. Whoa. Okay, did that hurt us? A tiny little bit, like the, the most minuscule little bit of damage ever. We'll see what's over here because we're, we're going a bit off course. Oh, hang on. There's never a bad occasion for cheese. Okay, let's not go over here just yet. Fuck off, cars. Uh, we're going to need to fucking play a little solo in the middle of all these cars. Strum in the middle. Watch out, Nomad, they're coming for you, man. Let's get out of there. Right. Okay, well that's interesting. I thought this was a dead end, but it turns out it isn't. Um, we're gonna... Let's go back. Let's just, uh... Return a bit. Up here. Taking in all the... The delightful psychedelics of, uh... Nomad's adventures. Fuck off, jellyfish. They're so easy, those jellyfish now as well. We, do, we barely even need to breathe on them and they just die. I don't know how we get that worm. Oh! 
I wish I hadn't shot them now. Because now I've just realised how you get in there. You do that. Whoops. I feel bad having shot them. Come here, you fucker. Yes. Okay, well... Um, okay, well, we shot them. And there was much sadness, but... I guess we're just going to have to assume that that didn't have any ramifications and, and proceed. It's fine. I know that dude isn't gone forever because... Uh, have you ever killed someone who's in the throngs of prayer? Head to the floor and hands raised to a higher being. I've seen bugs held between a man's fingers and never did they beg for their lives. They fought to their last. Never have I seen any life from plead for its life like a man does. Don't be afraid of opening up to me. Thanks for thanks thanks for that. Thanks for that little insight there. Because we have no idea where this game ultimately finishes, I always worry that the certain things that I do have ramifications and whatever why did I do that? Whatever future we're carving for ourselves is just constantly and unpredictably changing. I suppose that's a good analogy for real life, isn't it? Fucking, here we go. See, he's not dead. He's right here. Um, not going to save, though. Uh, what we are going to do, though, is we're going to go in here. Huh. Come on. Here we go. And we're going to look at this thing. There are many things you cannot tell another person. You cheapen yourself when when you close disclose those secrets. Oh yeah, really? Well, do you know what I disclose? I disclose fucking death to you, mate. Should have healed. This fight <laughs> is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I should have healed. Wow, that was a mistake right there. Um. Yeah, we'll just use that on Nomad. We're gonna have to, because... Wait till you see what this fucker can get up to. Grenade? Oh god. Okay, okay. That's good. Right. Now, he can do something which is certainly kind of unique among the enemies we've fought so far. Certainly I've never seen another enemy do this. Not that. That's not interesting. He still doesn't have a lot of health, which ultimately means this isn't gonna be the kind of climactic fight that I might be describing it as, but he has an interesting ability, and I'm hope he's, I hope he's going to use it and he's not just going to fuck about. Or we're going to kill him before then. Yeah, look at this. He just he just got rid of the lamb. What a dick. What a dick. That's my fucking lamb. How dare you fucking touch my lamb? Are we going to do that now? Uh, we can raise it. I'm not even sure there's much point. To be honest, but you missed. I did zero damage. That seems fair, right? Uh, so if we just, just, just do that. Just uh, attack with all weaponry. Bring the guns to bear and blast them in the face. He looks kind of like he's got a gun for a face. See, dead, dead. Tin lunchbox and one nothing. Good. Okay, so that's that. Um, and we could go in here. And you might be saying, well, well, this just looks like a place we've already been, so that's not very exciting, is it? Ah, but look at this. It's the other side of this chasm. The chasm. And now that we're on the other side of this chasm, we can go in this, uh, this door. Ah, it takes us here. These things, which we've been before, so that's not particularly exciting. Now I need to try and just remember exactly where the fuck I went to actually get there. That's the save point, and I think we go this way. Yes, okay, and then we go up and then to this door. And we're in a spooky elevator, and we're gonna we're gonna just 
have a quick pause here. Get to break this up a bit because uh, yeah, these these have a tendency to run on and on and on. What are you? Come here, come here, come here, Vermis. Dreamy greatness. Vermis, Vermis, good. Uh, so episode, uh, what did I say? It was twenty-four. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody.